Well, we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too.
Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. This country was conquered by those who move forward, and so will space. William Bradford, speaking in 1630 of the founding of the Plymouth Bay Colony, said that all great and honorable actions are accompanied with great difficulties, and both must be enterprised and overcome with answerable courage. If this capsule history of our progress teaches us anything, it is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And it is one of the great adventures of all time. And no nation which expects to be the leader of other nations can expect to stay behind in this race for space. Those who came before us made certain that this country rode the first waves of the Industrial Revolution, the first waves of modern invention, and the first wave of nuclear power. And this generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. Ready? Uh, <laughs> overthrowing Dr. Phil, uh, take three. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we are overthrowing Dr. Phil, and we are about to infiltrate the throne room of Dr. Phil, the man himself. Oh no, it's Dr. Phil. Surrender. I surrender. Get up, get down. Here's Give us the deed to your ranch. Here's my deed to the ranch. Thank you. Okay. We Send got the there. deed to the ranch. We, 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 we got it, let's go. Let's go. Peaceful resolution. Peaceful resolution.
Hello, welcome to McDonald's! Hi. Can I have some... What do you want? Can I have some chicken tendies and a Sprite? That'll be $20. Oh. Yes. No problem. Hello, hey, you forgot I, am to the, pay. I am the infamous ham burglar, and I'm here to burgle your shop. I am a uh, Karen, so let me see your manager. Okay. Hello, I am the manager. What seems give to me, be the problem? Give me your burger. Oh, I want okay. your burger. Okay, I'll go get you the burger. Hang on, it's taking a while to find it. Alright, I have your burger. Please oh, leave no. the store. Hamburglar loses again. Wow, what a great story. And don't come back. <laughs> Curse you blast. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, members, friends, and family. My name is David Longendick, also known as Creep Crusher in Minecraft. So today, the Morris County 4-H Minecraft Club presents to you Le Grand Tour de Side Builds. What that means is that you will be seeing miscellaneous builds the club members have worked on over the past year. We are also live streaming this event for the first time on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us today, to which will help us test this feature. I'd like to introduce you to some of the club members. So, David Hookdefa, aka David Jr., Moist Carrot, also known as Holt, Shark Destroyer, which is Sean, and also our cameraman and tour guide. Galaxy Egg, which is one of our members joining us. JFD Rock, which is uh, Joaquin. Rare Artifact 501 is Tanya, one of our adult volunteers. Tater Tot, which is Jan, one of our builders. Happy Feet 0000, which is Maya, one of our builders. Diamond Digger X, which is actually my mom. I don't know what she's doing here, but, you know. And, uh, and Brownie Buddy, which is Sergio, one of our builders. So, thank you all for coming. Thank you, thank you. We couldn't have done this without you. Uh, do, 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 do. So, and last but not least, our cameraman, well, is Sean. So, so now, Sean, take it away. Hello, uh, my name is Sean. Today we're going to be touring all the side builds, like David has said. Right now we're outside of the uh, science museum here in the parking lot. Uh, yep. How about a word from our sponsor, David? 
Yes, a word from our sponsor. So, this event has been made possible by our sponsor, MC Pro Hosting. MC Pro Hosting has generously partnered with 4H so that our club can have free access to their Minecraft server. If you are interested in having your own server space, please check out MC Pro Hosting. They are giving us a special discount by using the code 4H. Back to you, Sean. Thank you, David. Uh, the discount code is in the top right of the live stream right now. Is everybody ready to start the tour? Okay, let's yeah, go. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> so here we are at the entrance of the science museum. Hang on one second, Sean. <laughs> I can see that you're touring, but I, the, um, okay. Never mind, we're good. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the main lobby. There's lots of interesting things to see here, but we're going to start at the butterfly garden. Hey, okay, butterflies. This place is very nice. Uh, David Jr., one second. Yeah, this place is, uh... Maya, would you like to talk about the butterfly flowers. garden? Uh, yes, this is our butterfly garden. We made it so there's lots of flowers that they can all, uh, have fun with. And we have a model tree in here, so... It's so not, not that much to this room, just a butterfly garden, so... Please. Okay, thank you, Maya. Uh, over here we have the observatory. This is the telescope live feed. Uh, this is in space right now. Hey, here's the telescope. Looks like someone's looking through it right now. Do you see anything cool over there? I see Rick Astley on the TV. Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Rick Astley. Wow. Okay, continuing on here, uh, David Jr., would you like to talk about the big speaker room coming up? Sure. Look at this museum, so, it's so large. This is the library of all knowledge in the entire world. Uh, here we have a levitating book thingy. It's very fancy. Wow. Where did we get all these books from, David Jr.? The entire world. Wow. Does it cover all languages? Uh, almost. There's some in the basement. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, there was something in here, but it, it got stolen. Oh. Uh, so That's now Xana's in there. Uh, would you like to tell us about okay. the primitive history here um sure so this is uh life after death um here we can see someone who is alive but it's just a a model uh here is someone who is dead but it's also a model this is someone who is really dead but it's just a model interesting uh dangerous early versions of drinkable fizzy what's the story behind that so uh we actually stole this from willy wonka himself oh no um okay conveniently deliverable boom block so this is a boom block that we can deliver conveniently interesting Here ancient is forms some of ancient technology. forms of technology. Wow, I barely recognize it. Yeah. Uh, water displacement machine that floats. What is this? It's a boat. Oh. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what is this one? Uh, these are inferior life forms that eat stuff. That happens to be green. Hmm. I've never seen that before. What is this? Oh, it's Steve. This is Steve, the first Minecraft person to go to Mars. Wow. 
Uh, okay. What is this one? Oh. Superior life forms. No, why? I, I think one doesn't in belong there. Shouldn't here. Shouldn't be in there. Yeah, yeah. that's strange. Uh, we'll have to call the staff and get that sorted out. Uh, and this last one here. Um, inferior inferior life forms that swim. Huh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think we passed one other thing here that we should head back to before we go to the cafeteria. I have a question for the group. Yes. Um, what, was there, like, a prompt to make a museum, or did somebody just start building? Uh, no, we just started building, and now here we are. <laughs> yep. Did everybody just sort of start adding on some with their own ideas? Or yeah, was that was it like... pretty much the yeah. main idea. It was just everyone could add whatever they wanted. This is awesome. Uh, David Jr., do you know much about dinosaur bone digging? Uh, yes. Uh, they're dinosaur bones that were once not bones. They were once, well, they were always bones. But they were once inside of living things, but now they're dead. Wow. Thank you. Looks like they there are lots of... Them up. Oh, looks like there's lots of people here digging for bones today. Okay, let's head to the cafeteria. Hopefully the staff are here. How well lit this museum is. It's vi it's very inviting, and all the uh, windows you guys have put in. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it looks like this oh. is very busy. Hello, can I have a sauce packet, please? Sure. Just Thank one you. Next sauce order, packet. Next order, please. Yeah, j just one sauce packet. <laughs> Next order, please. You mm -hmm. Uh, can I have a, um, can I have a berry? Yes. Everybody's eating really light. Just one sauce packet, one berry. Well, you your, your turtle berry is ready. Berry? Thank you. Thank the you. Turtle water, that looks good. <laughs> so your berry is ready? Turtle water, is that water Who ordered the sauce that packet? a turtle swam in? <laughs> yeah. The sauce Everybody packet is ready. Sauce packet. Here's your burger. Oh, thank you. Here is your sauce packet. Thank you, sir. Drink up. That will be nice $8. $8 for a sauce packet? I'm out of here. <laughs> Somebody chase that man? Security, we have someone stealing a <laughs> sauce packet. The audacity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're just desperate for ketchup. Leave them alone. Okay. If we get away with that, we're going to have to shut down the whole museum. <laughs> we're going to go out of business. So, up next, we have the space technology exhibit. Uh, Holt, would you like to talk about this one? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> I see but... you're using your speed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the These carrot of speed. Stuff uh, okay. Oh, what's I this one here? Ones. What's this one here? Oh, right. This is <laughs> this is the <laughs> Sputnik first artificial satellite. Wow. Uh, as you can see, it it doesn't look that cool, um, and it really isn't. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave that one there. Oh, someone stole about. the spacesuit. Oh no. It uh, must be Iron Man again. He did that twice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> every time. Oh, good old He's Iron going Man. to the moon. I mean, so, to be fair, we kind of stole it from him, but, like, he doesn't have the right to steal it back. I have a fair. question about why one of the spacesuits has a sword. It just seems like a poor choice. Uh, right? someone stole the armor and replaced it with a sword. Because uh, uh, yeah. I was just thinking, you don't want to put too many sharp objects near a pressurized suit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Iron Man is just dangerous like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this one here? Right, so here we have <laughs> golden record that went on Voyager 1. Um, How did you get it back if Voyager 1 is beyond our solar system? Uh, that's, that's classified, that's classified <laughs> information. Yeah, we don't let people know that. Otherwise, exactly. the museum would be out of business. That's a need to know, and I don't yeah. need to know. Exactly. And also, maybe arrested by the but, FBI. But uh, and here's Voyager 1 itself. Uh, 
We brought that back as well. Yeah. And then over here we have the lunar lander. Uh, how did you get it back from the moon? <laughs> Buzz Aldrin gave it to us, actually. <laughs> oh. Well, that's very nice. I mean, this Steve Jobs, sorry. Is truly, your collection is amazing, considering how far you've gone to retrieve these items. <laughs> no, how we do that, actually, is we don't pay for any of the items, we just steal them. <laughs> okay, and last up here, we have... What is this? What is this? This is the model of the International Space Station with windows and solar panels, of course. The blue things are the uh, solar panels, right? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I think I can see the windows. Because they wear the windows. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Very cool. Again, amazing that you were able to fit that inside the museum. Okay, I believe next we're heading upstairs to the um, research area. Research area. Uh, Maya, are you going to talk about the research area? Wait, can I just ask if on the side before the stairs, were there doors like to bathrooms? Over here? Yeah. Uh, no, that's the observatory. We have no bathrooms. Oh, you don't have bathrooms? You have to go room? outside to the moon if you yeah. need to go. Okay, sorry. It, once you're there, it just levitates and goes off into space. Yeah. Okay, so... What are these things? This is, these are weird-looking dead things. Strange. Uh, rocks that will burn eternally for some reason. Now, Maya is the lead researcher in this area, is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and what is this? Uh, that's a strange, uh, beam of light that somehow comes out of, uh, like, glass. I think we, uh, not sure what it is right now, but we have been trying to figure out what it is. We still don't know what it is, though. Okay, and statue of a strange human-like being. This one fascinates me. I have no me. idea what that is. Very familiar. Not very human-like, if you ask me. Yeah, it looks like Spider-Man, honestly. Yeah. Strange. Uh, and then we have seashells that she sold by the seashore. Did we buy these, or did we steal these? I can't we remember. Oh, uh, okay. Well, they were not sold. You purchase them if they're being sold by the seashore. Uh, well... The title is a lie, actually. David, what is they this? You seem sold. very interested in this. So, this is fungus that we found in the basement. Uh, we decided to sample it, and it turned out to be alien fungus from another planet. Um, you know, it was just growing in our basement. Good thing that we, uh, you know, that we got it out, or else it would have caused problems. Uh, you know, we don't talk about it. Kind of classified information, but, uh, we have it on display, at least. Wow. Uh, what is this across from us? This looks like some sort of town. Oh, yes, that's all a model of a village with uh, robots in there. We are experimenting them to see how their life works. Yes, definitely robots. <laughs> and um, Maya, you're clearly busy with all these research projects. Is there anything in particular that you are most interested in studying from all of this collection? Uh, yes, the one that I'm really interested of studying is the uh, Spider-Man thing. We found it in Iceberg. We are trying to learn about it a bit more right now, so I'm really excited to learn about that. <laughs> okay, thank you, Maya. Uh, David, will you tell us about these objects here? I will. So, these are, uh, you know, random planets that we plucked from the solar system itself. This one is Mercury. This next one is Venus. This next one is actually the Earth. It's kind of an anomaly how we got the Earth in the <laughs> Earth itself, but we don't really we don't really talk about that. Then it's Mars, one of, you know, the most interesting planets so far. Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn got a bit squished, I think. 
Yeah, it did. Uh, it's a baby Saturn, then Uranus, there it is, <laughs> and then Neptune. Wow. Uh, you know, again, don't ask how we have these planets all condensed in here. It's a, it's it a scientific Bruce anomaly. Doing, actually. You can you can see him over there. You're right. Through the window. Gru did it. When you're right, you're right. Okay, let's head back downstairs, and I believe next we're going to the moon. To the moon! Um... Who's talking about the moon? That's you, right, Holt? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. So here we have this little diorama here of the moon land. Mm -hmm. That's Buzz Lightyear right there. Crazy. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin or Buzz Lightyear? Buzz Lightyear. Not we couldn't afford Buzz Aldrin. Soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not on the 4-H budget, I get it. Yeah. So, we have this amazing mini moon virtual reality experience here. Uh, let's try that. Wow, we are in a rocket. Paul, oh, how did we get here? Um, teleportation. Wow, there's a lot of people in here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Please follow me, and you will be assisted shortly. With what? Yeah, where are we going? With your spacesuits, because, you oh. know, you came to the moon. Of course you would want a moon tour, right? Okay. Of course, funny spaceman. Whoa. That is what I want. Yes. This is our space elevator over here. Funny spaceman always has what I need. <laughs> the only thing he doesn't have is knowing how to go down the elevator. <laughs> or finding the entrance to it. So okay. what is this room here? What are all these switches? These are, um, turning on and off the earth. What? <laughs> yeah. This is to manage the rocket and make sure everything's working right. That too, of course. This is mission control, but on the moon. Okay. Wow. I believe we have a little base over here, right? We do. We're going through this airlock. Wow. Uh, what's in this high danger room here? That's where Gromit lives. Who's Gromit? Oh. Gromit from no. Wallace and Gromit. Oh. You guys know Wallace and Gromit? Yeah. Oh. The moon uh, is made of cheese? It is, actually. And here, and this farm is actually growing the crackers. That's where we grow no. You can't forget the crackers when going to the moon. Of course, yeah. We learned our lesson. <laughs> And then this is the living quarters. This is where people live. <laughs> I mean, people do you live, live on here? the moon? I mean, well, living is a, a loose term for the condition that we put them in. Looking oh, at how many see. beds you got, it looks like just six at a time can be here. Yeah. That looks. That sounds about right for a base this size. <laughs> uh, what is this? The spacesuits. Why are oh, two of them the missing? Armory. Oh, someone took it one. Seems, uh, it seems Iron three of them are missing. Friends have been. They here. are. They are outside. Oh no! I hope they're okay. Uh, <laughs> here's the well-being resting area. Uh, do you like to rest here? Sure. Is it no. is like a meditation space? Whoa! <laughs> As Sean is demonstrating, it is also the swimming pool. So, wow. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then over here we have the storage area. Uh, what do you store here? Crackers. Uh, stuff. No, the usual. What's the difference in safe stuff and not safe stuff? Um, stuff. The yeah. size of the box, apparently. Basically, the main difference is that the word safe is on it. Okay, really and what's this one. room here? This is the chemistry lab, of course. This is where we created Gromit. Oh. Okay, let's head outside and look for those astronauts. The astronauts who aren't wearing their suits? They are wearing their suits. Oh, okay, good. They That's have the, the invisible part. ones. Wait, are we now outside without suits? Uh, ours, yes. It's okay. We're, it's just a simulation. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for reminding me. I was getting worried. What is this over here? This is truck slash transportation shuttle. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, what happened to the path? Seems like it got destroyed. Uh, there was a meteor shower. We haven't bothered to clean it up yet. You oh. act like you act like you've never seen truck before. <laughs> what is this? Come is this on, also Sean. the truck? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, what happened here? A satellite crashed. Oh no. Oh, there's people Basically, down there. Yeah, what happened here was a meteorite uh, collided with the satellite. So the satellite crashed here and all the bits and pieces scattered around. Okay. We got a meteor shower. What's that building over there? Is that what I think it is? <laughs> we don't want to go there. Yeah, we don't. That's the dark side of the moon. We don't want to be over there. Oh, no. Okay. Let's avoid that. What's okay, this? I have a curious okay. question for the group. Why is the moon rock different than an earth rock and there i'll tell you the answer because uh, it's a little meteor <laughs> that, that was pretty funny nice <laughs> nice oh, the are so uh is this the, is this the mining site this is the excavation site have they found anything interesting i see some green stuff down there Oh, that's just the cheese. Why is it green? Uh, because there's it's a rare kind of cheese. Yeah, it's space blue cheese. Oh, okay. Uh, let's head back inside and we can return to reality. Snap back. Reality in day? Minecraft. I'm just yes. <laughs> reality inside of not reality. Mm -hmm. Wayfair has just what I need. Take this one last look at the moon. We're not allowed to talk about <laughs> Okay, we're heading back inside of our rocket now, and we can take off back to Earth. Will there be sound effects? Uh, yes. No. Oh, and you're here. No. Wow, that was quick travel. Whoosh. These astronauts make it seem like it's such a big deal, and it takes days or years to get where they're going. Yeah. Well, it's just a simulation. Okay, I believe next we're heading to Dr. Phil's underground fortress. Oh, no! Dr. Phil, are you here to talk about that? Uh, yes, sorry. Okay, uh, we can head over to my secret fortress that is now not secret. <laughs> the not-so-secret fortress. No. What is okay, we're following you. Guy there? Oh. This? Well, Heather, one of our main builders, turned 18 on that day, and we celebrated a birthday party for her. Aww. With a giant cake. Who doesn't love giant cake? I know, right? Man, you really have to know where this place is, because you guys just fell down a hole in the middle of nowhere. Okay, thank you, Dr. Phil. Where are we? We are in my main area of the base, where... There is nothing secret here. Okay. Where are you taking us? Uh, we'll go down here to um, my main living area. What inspired you to build a secret bunker? Well, since Dr. Phil is uh, very, um, very important, so it, they need, he, uh, I need very, uh, I need security in my face so yeah it just it i guess it seems like you needed like your own safe space to escape to once in a while yes this is your bedroom right yes why do you it's have three bed. beds um it's a uh a king bed ah i see is this the ranch dr phil uh i'll send you to ranch oh no yes uh, and if you come in here, there's a kitchen where I uh, cook. What what sort of things do you cook? Well, I cook uh, everything. But I really don't cook ranch anything. dressing. I I cook ranch dressing in this kitchen. <laughs> and over here is my main living area. This is where I sit down. Right here, and 
Yeah. Up here, there is uh, something else. Where? If you come back up to the entrance area, you can come down here. And uh, you can come up here and see. Yeah, that's a lot of stairs, Bill. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Oh, this is just my uh, temple. Your temple? He doesn't come here much anymore, ever since the incident. Ah, uh, yes, you may recognize this place from the, uh... Um... What was that? What's that? From the pre the, the one time we overthrew Dr. Phil. Oh, oh yes. No. That was a Good great times. time. And then Galaxy. there was an epic dancing montage afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Got Galaxy him. Egg looks, uh, looks like she's uh, the new uh, Dr. Phil. So yes, this is my base. Thank you, Dr. Phil. How do we yeah. leave? Thank you for sharing your secret space with us. You can never leave. <laughs> and now kindly everyone leave. <laughs> Alright, where to, cameraman Sean? Okay, next we're heading to the American Legion building. Um, oh. Let's no. head there. This is actually a real place. Well, it's modeled after a real place, correct? Dr. Phil's lair is also a real place. <laughs> just never been there. We just don't know enti entirely what it looks like. Yeah. Welcome, okay, everybody. so Welcome here we are Legion outside the American Legion building. Uh, David, will you talk about this? I sure will. So, this is the American Legion building, and it is where 4-H uses to to host its glorious award ceremony. So let's come inside, let's come inside. Wait one second, David, I have, uh, I need to address the elephant in the room. What is the cake van? Ooh, what is the cake well, van? Well, the cake van is here because the award ceremony, it uses a lot of cake, you know? We like to, uh, keep the, keep the members happy, you know? And who doesn't love a good cake, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go find the cake. Okay. So... Maya seems to be the person at the front desk, and normally at the award ceremonies, they they give us something at the front desk. Uh, do you have anything with you, Maya? Uh, yes, because you guys can, as usual, at the real place, everybody here uh, gives everybody free honey, so if you like, I can give you free honey. Yes, please, that sounds lovely. Yeah, in real life, that came from the... Uh, be the beekeepers uh, group of Morris and, Som and Somerset counties. Mm -hmm. They've come to our fair for many years, so it's nice that we were able to like support one another. Sure is. So, as we go into the main hall, we have David Jr. and Dr. Phil down there. Uh, it looks like they're posing next to a cake, which honestly, I don't blame them. It'll go in the 4 newsletter, I, I assume. Um, it's just, I love the layout of this building. It's so nice and organized and neat. You know, you have a picture of Rick Astley on the walls and, you know, it's real nice. But we do have her secret because Maya is in the kitchen over here and she has a secret cake lever. Um, you know, we're about to show you why we needed that cake lever. Well, that cake truck from before. Hey, Maya, can you please flip the cake lever? Yes. Look in the middle, guys. It is raining cake. <laughs> it's raining cake. I Somebody like must I've have never... won the... We gotta figure out how to make this a real feature. <laughs> Somebody must have uh, won the first year of the year or something, because, man, that's a lot of cake that's raining down. <laughs> so, thank you, everybody. That's the reserve cake supply. And thank you all for coming out here in this glorious award ceremony. But there is also one hidden feature that we didn't show you guys yet. So, cameraman Sean, would you please come down to the cellar? To the basement, I guess, of the award ceremony? The cellar. So... This place is a bar, however, it's a child it's a kid friendly bar, so that is root beer and that is lemonade. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's uh it's it's very healthy for everybody, I'm sure. <laughs> and and yeah, that's that's the award ceremony. I hope you guys have enjoyed. 
I just enjoy There's... that I don't have to clean up after this award ceremony. Oh yeah, tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> There's also the secret cake room upstairs. What? Secret, secret I think we already cake? saw that. You guys are really all about the cake. I'm going to make a note of that for award ceremony. Make sure there's enough cake uh, to reflect the amount of cake that's been shown here tonight. You know, I would I would love that very much. Thank you. <laughs> this wall may seem like an ordinary wall, but I assure you, there's much more behind this wall. Okay. Cake? Whoa. It's the secret cake stash. Uh. That's where we've been hiding it this whole time. Yeah. So Thank I think you. in real life, that's where all the chairs and tables get stored. So next time I'll- Yeah, rather than cleaning up, we just shove everything in here. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm like, maybe there's cake back there and I didn't know. All right, where to next? Next, we're heading to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. St. Patrick's Day Parade, here we go! And this is another thing that our 4-H community is involved in. Um, and it takes place in Morristown. Hold! So... Oh, come one second. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are we at the start of the parade? Yes, I believe Holt will be talking about this. Right. So, right in front of us, the uh, the first banner we have is for the Boy Scouts. And here we have Boy Scout number one, and on the other side, Boy Scout number two, doing a bang-up job of holding up that holding up that banner. Thank you. Uh, and what's this next one? We have uh, Wild West City, and we'll actually be going there shortly, and we'll get a little tour from uh david i believe yes and then sir on your right we'll see the mcdonald's shamrock shake <laughs> this is a uh limited edition item especially very limited with the uh leprechaun inside at the bottom oh, that's wow um what's this next one here we have the madison marching dodgers a, school a uh, band. marching band. Yes, a school marching band. It seems they are marching, but without the instruments. Very sad. <laughs> it's a very quiet marching band. Yeah. And then we have the the veterans. Um, we were actually just at the place where they reside, the American Legion. Is there a reason why there's like a wolf on their banner? Uh... I don't know. Maybe that's just their mascot. <laughs> and then next up here, this place we'll be going to very shortly. We have McDonald. Yes, this is... I think I've Ronald seen that McDonald's place. Miss Ronald McDonald. That was in the pre-show, right? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully the Hamburglar doesn't terrorize these people again. Hopefully not. Hopefully. <laughs> here, here we have 4-H. Um, that is us. Yay! You might recognize 4-H person and Johanna, as she is in every club, therefore she is in that one. <laughs> Alright, we have Dog 4-H Club. Um, Dr. Phil is an honorary member of this 4-H club. I had no idea until now. <laughs> Give it up for Dr. Phil, everyone. Wow. Okay, wow, what's this then we have... We have 4-H Minecraft Club, and we actually have the honorary member of this club is actually Spider-Man. And Whoa. also another Spider-Man. Wait a minute, I think I see another Spider-Man coming. Uh -oh. oh my god. There's I'm another not, I'm not here, you don't he's, see He's me. hiding from us, that must be the real one. <laughs> oh no. I think that's the end of our parade here, right? Yes, yes it is. Next, Ooh. we're going to the McDonald's. Let me just re share real quick that... While we only have a couple of clubs represented here in this parade, we act, Morris County actually has lots of different clubs on a lot of different project areas. Um, and we're hoping to showcase 
as a whole bunch of them this summer through a variety of activities and events. Um, possibly a Minecraft parade of clubs. We'll see what you guys decide to come up with. All right, back to your show. Okay. Somebody was holding cake. All right, go ahead. Two McDonald's. Okay, and now we're... McDonald's? Oh, so now we're at McDonald's. We're uh, taking a lunch break here. This is great because I've been craving a burger all day. I'm going to assume you guys have burgers at this restaurant. Your silence is worrying me. <laughs> um, well, it might not be real, but yes. <laughs> Who's throwing money around? Hello, would anybody like to be served here? Hello, hello. Would anybody like anything? I would. I would like something. What would you like? I would like a tater tot. Okay, one... A tater tot. Here's a tater tot for you. It looks like a cake, but it's actually a cake of tater tots. <laughs> just for you. Anybody else? Uh-oh. Who's yes. that? I, the Hamburglar. I would like uh, one serving oh no. of stolen hamburger, please. Ah! Uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get my manager, uh. Yeah, I think you will. Hello, I am the manager. What seems to be the problem? Oh, sippy manager, problem I'm in, I'm in the that I don't have a hamburger in my hand. Give me my hamburger. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I'm getting your burger. How will this company survive? It won't survive if you're sitting in the deep frying oil, that's how. Ah! I have your burger. Give it Please to me, leave then. my store. Give me the burger. No. Leave. I want the burger. Leave. Give me the burger. Leave. Okay. Wow. Thank You've you. You've done it again, manager. I Thank saved the day. <laughs> Yay! I'm such a hero. <laughs> and so modest, too. Well, that was an interesting lunch break. I believe next we are going to mini golf. Ooh, mini golf. The last mm -hmm. time I've done mini golf was years and years ago. Well, it's about time you do another round. Very true. So who built mini golf? Douglas did. Douglas isn't here right now, right? Yeah, he's no. not. Okay, so David, would you like to talk about the mini golf for him? Yeah, sure, why not? So over here you can choose your golf balls in this chest right over here. You can choose whichever style you would like. Um, There's no pink ones. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess we're out this year. So, when you have chosen your golf balls, I think this come is over the here, end. And you may start on your mini golfing session. So, there are actually 19 holes because the creator of this miscounted, and instead of 18 holes like a normal mini golf course would have, this one has 19. You know, it's kind of unique, but. I like to think but of it here we are. they were enjoying building so much, they added a bonus level. <laughs> that's, prob that's probably it, yeah. I mean, hey, it'll never hurt. No. So. It's it seems to be you know clear sky sunny day perfect day for mini golfing. I love the windmill. Yeah. And the fact that it's not turning makes it a little bit easier. I would hope. Well. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not doing much good, you know, being a being a windmill and all, but it's yeah. <laughs> you want ball? Okay. Where are you, Galaxy Egg? Here. I shall give you a golf ball. Oh, I here, didn't here you that... go. Behind you. Did the... you get it? 
does the water blocks like rise and fall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a moving floor. Oh boy. Yeah, this mini golf is not messing around. It's intense. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize there's a couple holes on the top of this mountain. <laughs> It's like everyone's even a whole um inside the mountain. There Who's is. in the lead? Who's in the lead currently? I, I think that Maya Happy Feet is actually currently in the lead. She's already on hole thirteen, is that correct? Wow. I guess uh I guess some people are just speeding right along. Mm -hmm. But no need to rush, you know, you're all winners in my book, you know, just thank you for participating in our mini golfing session. It's Keisha, a very common, a, relaxing day. Can you give us a panorama of the world of, that you guys have created? I mean, this is fairly extensive. Over there we can see the St. Patrick's Day, and just beyond that is the word ceremony. And what's the road there? Um... Uh, I don't know what road this is. It goes to the fair. It does. Way down there is the fair. And there's the, uh... Mm -hmm. What's that building there, David? Well, it is the Chris mold that my dad built, actually, all by himself. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. I enjoy the scenery here. It's very peaceful here. Yeah, you can see everybody doing their mini-golf, and... Shooting off fireworks. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go look and see how this person's doing. Well, and as soon as everybody is done with their with their mini golfing, we shall move on to our next section. Are we Which, ready? What is our next session? Our next area is the small town and the deli that Brownie Buddy made. Ooh, sounds peaceful. Are we ready to go there? Yeah. Why not? Sure, I finished my mini golfing. Alright, so we're in a little town. Okay, so there seem to be two rules here. Uh, rule one, don't break anything. And rule two, David, you're not the mayor. I'm not sure what that Aww, means. But I want it to be the mayor. Aww, this, this is town. A... <laughs> you know, I could go for a good coffee right now. David. Let's go see if they have a coffee shop. It's like this donut building. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a cake. Ah, big coffee. Just what I was looking for. Hello. As opposed to small coffee? Hello? Hello. Uh, Welcome to big coffee. What kind of coffee do you sell? Big coffee. Oh, wow. I'll take one small big coffee, please. Uh, we don't have those here. We only have big coffee. Ah, uh, how much does it cost? Big coffee. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Bye. Big coffee. <laughs> and then here we have the sweet bread deli. Ooh. Sweet bread, huh? Hi. What kind of uh, bread do you sell? Sweet uh, bread. We sell sweet bread. Uh, do you sell anything else? Sweet bread. No. Uh, okay. Somebody Do you want sweet some bread. sweet bread? Then, somebody turn the shop owner on and off again and see if that resets him. Yeah, it's been <laughs> strange. Oh. Uh, is this the Hello, Titanic? this is my yacht. This is my yacht. Oh. It's beautiful. Can we come on? Yeah, we're going on. No, this is my yacht, not your <laughs> yacht. Well, oh, there seems to be no way to go inside of it. Yeah, because it's my yacht, not yours. <laughs> Why does your yacht not have a door? It only has a door for me. Okay. Man, this town is like, got some aggressive residents. I think it only has one yeah, resident. Right? Uh, he, he doesn't socialize much. I guess. <laughs> what is this building? It seems empty. 
Uh, Hello. Hi. Welcome to Cupcake Looking Building. Not this guy. What again. do you sell here? <laughs> Cupcake Looking Buildings. Ah. So I can order one to have it constructed? No, only one that's already constructed, and we will oh. ship it in a box. Oh, okay. House. Uh. Does it come in your yacht? <laughs> no, it's it comes a in a box. Yacht. Oh. It comes in a box on the yacht? Redstone door was here, but it went up in the air. Look up what? if you don't believe me. Oh. <laughs> Huh. That is strange. What happened? Um... This looks like a library. This is a very nice library. Quiet in the library. Uh... Quiet in the library. Are you the mayor or something? Quiet in the library. Oh, Do you sorry. have books? Quiet in the library. Do you have books? No. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is the weirdest town. <laughs> it sure yeah, is. Uh, yeah, this uh, town is Might be special. cursed. Uh, <laughs> there's a house here and a swimming pool. Uh, I hope nobody minds if I go for a swim. Can I help you? <laughs> what? Can I help you? Why are you in my pool? Uh, uh -oh. This is your pool? This is my house. Please leave. Well, could we have a tour? No, this is my house. Why are you here? <laughs> Let's just look through the windows. Hey, get out of my house. <laughs> I'm not in your house. We're outside your house. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're on my property. <laughs> well, what if we just look at the binoculars? That's weird. And <laughs> why? <laughs> We're climbing our ladder. Oh, there's another bedroom Ooh, up there here. There are people in the house. Oh, there's lots of people in the house. Why are you guys in my house? Please leave. I don't think they have bites if we come in, too. <laughs> no, leave. Oh, uh, okay. We'll leave. Why are you in my house? It's strange that there's like, seems to be only one resident for the whole town. Yeah, and there's so many houses, and it's just one yeah. person. Oh, is this uh, Shrek's house? Yes, actually. I don't know why I'm here. Yeah, get out of this house. Uh, okay. Is this for sale? Oh, let's Ooh. take a tour of this house. Hi. Hello, this is my house. It is for sale. How much? It is for sale, not you. Okay. It's for sale. Oh, who's sale? <laughs> oh my gosh. Not you. Oh, okay. Who's on first? Why are you in my house? Oh, this is a very nice house. I like this house. Uh, I might Man, take it. Let's Man, let's get out of this town. Is this a lunchbox? This is my lunchbox. Can I please go inside? Sure. Wow. Why are you in my lunchbox? <laughs> uh, oh, you have some interesting collections here. Oh, this isn't mine. Oh, what? What? Okay. Um... Oh, no. Next, we're going to Wild West City. Yeehaw! Yeah, Wild West City. Where's this cat that keeps meowing? It's over there. Oh, oh, it was named that. Mushy. Okay, now we're here at Wild West City. Howdy, y'all! Welcome to Wild West City! So, if you didn't know, Wild West City is actually a place in the real world, and, you know, as a lot of things, we just modeled it in Minecraft. So, the first thing that we're going to be looking at are these here stables. So, it seems like the stables are empty. Uh, we used to have one in here, but, uh... I don't know what happened to him. Kind of a kind of a racing horse type, you know. And and over here we have to this here general store. 
as you can see, Maya owns the general store, and the Hamburglar seems to be at large again, stealing some carrots. Well, actually, well, actually, I'm not stealing the carrots. Since I couldn't steal your burger, I had to get a part-time job restocking the shelves. Oh, look at that, guys. The Hamburglar has found himself a job, and he's doing good for this darn community. Yes, he's now my employee, helping me with all these stores. Wow, this is very nice. Thank you, Hamburglar. Thank you, Maya. Hamburglar's my hero. <laughs> Over here we have, you know, one of the one of the most iconic buildings, you know. <laughs> it's the jail. It's this here jail. Uh, uh, what are the? What is this guy doing in here? Wait a minute. <laughs> this uh, uh, this this doesn't look right here. So, um, so David, uh, do you come here often? Um, let's let's move on to the next here building, shall we? Uh, let's uh, okay. go to the saloon. Now, the saloon, for some reason, is also owned by Maya. Um, Maya, can you, uh... Can you give us a bit of information about this here saloon? Uh, yes, this is my boy that, again, the hamburger was helping me with. He's uh, another one of my employees. And, uh, if you like a drink, you can always come here and get one. Is the drink cactus juice? No, those are just our uh, fancy cups. Oh, cactus cups. That makes sense. With the prickles removed? Of course, of course. Alright, everyone. Last but not least, if you come outside here, we have a, uh, we have a, <laughs> a wanted board. <laughs> um, wanted, wait a second. Wanted Creep Crusher reward $100,000? Uh... Uh, reason, reason. Bad president. Um. Wow. Hey, hey guys. Hey, hey fellers. I uh, I gotta go. Thanks get him. Missing the wild west. Go get it, hamburger. Bye. Hey, we don't like your tight brown knees parts. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to uh, Star Wars with Holt. Are you? Uh, let's head over there now. Oh boy, here we go. So here we are, uh, oh, what is this? This is the Millennium Falcon. Block edition. Wow. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you have a member who is Chewbacca in your club? Yes, that is the one recording. <laughs> and I, that we saw some sweet dance moves from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, it looks like the Millennium Falcon is being attacked here. What are those behind it? Those are some, uh, toy fighters. Wow. Uh, oh, it looks like it's being escorted by a Y-Wing here, correct? It is, actually. Nice. <laughs> Let's I head like inside. This is, like, this is like a frozen in time, like just a scene. Ooh, was that a switch on the side? It is, for the door. Oh, like to shut it? Oh. No, no, let's go in. Holt, what is this? This is the moist carrot power reactor. It powers the entire ship. Wow. Seems to be a strange phenomenon here, too. It's, it's floating it, in ooze. It seems silent right now, but if... Does it have a sound effect? Like, what would you imagine the sound effect to be? It kind of sounds like the noises Chewbacca makes. Oh. I can't really recreate it that well, but... Uh, okay, now where to? Uh, straight ahead, we have the sh uh, the shrine room. Um, here we have a shrine of the Star Wars god, work doer, with pickle candles. Wow. I think I've heard of work doer before. Yes, the almighty one. He shows us the way. What's over here? Is this a shower? This is the Minecraft baptism pool. Um, oh. On one side we have Rick Astley, and on the other side we have Dark Rick Astley. And whichever way you go decides your fate. 
Hmm. Oh. I think it's... <laughs> Everywhere we look in your Minecraft projects, Rick Ashley always shows up. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? He's a, he's a big part of this world. This is the <laughs> bathtub and pool. Oh, okay. Where next? Where to? I have a question. I have oh, a question. Yes? Did you build all this like recently or was this always inside here? Yes, this was built in like the last two days. Oh, I finished it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and up ahead of us we have the sleeping quarters. Do you sleep here? Um no, but you do. Oh, okay. Uh what is this? This is the cockpit. I see we have Rick Astley here for good luck. Yes. Is this... Oh, it seems we have no bounty right now. That's sad. Yeah. Is that the turn signal? <laughs> yeah, it is actually. <laughs> the the toy fighters need to know which, uh, which, way which you're turn going. we're taking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. We can't cut them off. That would be dangerous. Yeah. There's a lot of switches in that. So what else do we have here, Holt? Uh, if you keep going in the other direction, the way you're going, uh, in front of you, we have the oxygen farm with lots of plants and little trees and things to make oxygen. I see you have also... some uh, pickle candles here. Yes. The pickle candles also provide oxygen. Cool. So I have a question about pickle candles and whether I should expect those to be entered in the fair in future years. We're working on that. It's yeah. currently not possible with science, but we're working on solutions. Well, if you're working on it, then why wasn't it in the research department of your science museum? Uh, it's top it's, it's yeah, even it's... more top secret oh, yeah. than, the, okay. than the other things there. And what's this last room here? This is the gaming room. Do you play games here, or what kind of games do you play? Um, that one Star Wars chess game. Oh. That's pretty much it. Oh, yes, I remember that. I think that's about all we have to look at here. There's some buildings down on the ground that I saw. Yes. Let's go check those out. If we can find the exit. Well, you know, the it's it's accurate. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone closed the door while we were inside. It's all right. Woo. Where are we now? Uh, this is sort of a little village outpost, a rundown village outpost. What is this uh, car here? This is a um, pod racer, actually. D Has it been in any races? No. Oh. What are all the levers for? Uh, turn signals. <laughs> That's it. It just it doesn't really do anything else. Uh, is this Shrek's house? Yeah. Shrek's, you... Shrek has uh, most multiple houses. Ah. Oh. Clearly. And then Star Wars and. Uh, small town universe. <laughs> What's this area here? Um, this is the Star Wars Cantina. <laughs> we sadly don't have any live performances this evening, but uh. No, no, you got me. All right. Yeah. That's about all I can remember. <laughs> uh, is there anything else to see here? Uh, no, no, there actually isn't. There's oh no, my, no what secret, is this? No secret entrances at all. Oh, this looks oh. like a rebel hideout. Why are yes. you hiding rebels in the basement of the cantina, Holt? Those are clones. Of what? Themselves. Oh. No one knows which is the real one. <laughs> <laughs> ah. One sort of messed up, although it could be the original, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this here? Uh, lots of con 
computers and science things. Very complicated. You wouldn't yeah. understand. Exactly. The science is too immense. And this just little lever level lever turn we're doing so many things you couldn't comprehend. That's because <laughs> yeah, it's Star I'm Wars. Turn signals blinking everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. But it's advanced turn signals. And uh, what's this here? Is this a hologram? Yes, it is. This is um, another chess game. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, well, let's get out of here before we get in trouble. So, I believe there's a, uh, a Imperial base not too far away. Let's walk over there. Oh. oh, what is this? Oh, right. <laughs> this is um, this is R R C three PO. Uh, yeah, that's um. Well, no, he's the off-brand version. That's why you can't <laughs> recognize him. <laughs> he's a bit. He's gained a bit of weight, but essentially the same. Yeah. Does he? Oh. Now, three PO knows how how many languages? Um, well, this this one doesn't really know any at the moment, but <laughs> not even just one. Yeah, we seem it's to bit... have, we seem to have found it's something still, here. It's still training. <laughs> oh wow, there's a fight going on in the air. David Junior. David Junior. Is that a Y wing, David Junior? Yes. Nice. Nice. What is this? Is this a W wing? It is actually, yeah. Yes. Oh, and who is this coming out of it? Darth Zena. Beware. Oh. oh, okay. Be careful, he might ban you. <laughs> is that his lightsaber? No. That's oh. his other saber. Oh. His dark saber? My dark saber. Let's uh, yes. head up here. What is this building, David Jr.? This is a fancy building. It's Imperial. Only for fancy it's people. It's just Imperial. Exactly. To test if you're a fancy person, flick the lever. It seems you are fancy. Just kidding. I flipped the lever for him. Oh, there's a stormtrooper right. here. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's it's a place for stormtroopers. Yeah, it has to be protected. This is a nice hallway. The blueprint. Is did you make here. this yourself? I did make this myself. Oh, it looks like there's a little turret up here, keeping the base safe. <laughs> is yes. that Pinocchio turret? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> must be lying. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like kind of like boink, boink. Yeah. Instead of a pew pew pew, it's more of a. <laughs> <laughs> what else, David? Dude, he's very proud of that one. Very, I'm very impressed with you guys and your creativity. This Thank is you. very cool. Is there anything up here? Oh, no, I there's nothing there's up there. N nothing yet. I'm sure if we gave you another 24 hours, you could build it. <laughs> uh, I believe if you next... stand here, you can see there's a MC Pro hosting sign. Wow. And Being remind projected us again, from the building. Remind us who MC Pro hosting is. Um, they are the sponsor. Yes, the sponsor of this uh, server space. Yes. I what I believe... all the... It looks like bubbles that are coming out over the sign. Like, sorry, go back to the MC Pro hosting real quick. It's actually a, a hologram. Oh, That's yeah. why it looks like that. I love it's it. Projecting up out of the base. Now that you can do a hologram, may I request that you make a giant Princess Leia um, 
from her the message from R two D two. Chop chop. Next, your next build. Yes, I'll do that in two minutes. <laughs> okay, I believe next we're going to Darth Zano's lair. Is Darth Zano here to talk about this? I am here to talk about this. I mean, <clears throat> I am here to talk about this. <laughs> uh oh, be careful. So, this is my secret lair. You know, I am Darth Zano. Um, you can come inside at your own risk because in the middle of this temple, we have a fun device. Now, if you solve this Rubik's Cube-like pattern in the middle, you get to experience fun. But, if you get it wrong, and then you might cause a random block in Minecraft to be broken. It's the ultimate device. And, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's uh, there's some moon cheese over here. Um, there's some directions. Um, yeah, I I'm gonna be quite honest. The Star Wars guys, they didn't really give me a big budget for this. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, what is this thing coming out of the middle of your uh, layer? Oh, well... Well, that's uh, that's my uh, that's my cell tower, of course. If you gotta have Imperial Wi-Fi, you know, like just, you know, if not, then you can't you can't organize and anything. Like, how do you think people in the Star Wars community communicated? And what's um, the Wi-Fi by talking? Uh, the Wi-Fi password is um big Star Wars D A R D A R one H V A D E R one two one. And uh, it costs like forty bucks a month. It's very premium. Um, yeah. Um, you know, that's... you guys build a lot of secret bunkers and secret layers, and then just invite everybody in. <laughs> <laughs> They're very uh, secret. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need to have a conversation about how secrets work? <laughs> don't don't no. don't talk uh, don't talk to my don't talk to Emperor Palpatine about this. Um, so. What is oh, this here? Fired. I'm here, Doctor Phil. What is this? Oh, this green is thing? this is this is uh, Yoda. Oh. Ha! Ah. I thought it was Shrek. <laughs> it's both at the same time. Right. Strong will you require? <laughs> no. I referenced Yoda the other day of when you know when he's on his deathbed and he says, "No more questions. Rest now." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's just one of my favorite lines. Just yeah, that's exactly. How you... No more. <laughs> Rest now. No more. Just no more. <laughs> um, I believe next we'll be going to the uh, build challenge, but that needs to be set up, if I understand correctly. So we'll just keep looking around here while we wait for that. Ooh, we're we're doing a build challenge. Yes. Excellent. Oh, is this an X-Wing here? Yes. Yes, it is, actually. Wow. It was custom-built in the shape of an X. That's why it's called an X-Wing. Interesting. Is it Xano wing <gasps> you're, not supposed to, you're not supposed to know about that. It's actually confidential. And for Dr. Phil on everything. Looks like there's another fight happening up here. A lot of battles going on. What are all those blocks? Like those clear blocks? Um, we might be coming back to that soon. I'm not sure. And what are the things that look like moons? Is oh, those. Those are moon? Star Wars planets. Uh, David, would you like to talk about the Star Wars planets? Hmm. Um, of course. There are uh, there are multiple planets in the Star Wars universe. Um. This one is Hoth, you know, it's it's uh it's the snow planet. It's a bit smaller scale. We had to condense it for uh for server's sake. I mean uh Star Wars universe sake. Uh this one is Tatooine, the planet with two suns, although 
there only seems to be one. It's kind of a discount Tatooine, if you ask me. <laughs> um, over here, we have the Ewok jungle, you know, where those Ooh. where those little Ewok guys hang out. Um, you know, very, wow. very, very good. I'm noticing the trees uh, only grow on one side of the planet, though. Yeah, they wanna they wanna conceal their planet. Um, over here, we have the planet of pure sandstone. This planet is an impenetrable fortress. Oh. Well, it would have been. <laughs> now, now this one, this water one, is Camino. <laughs> uh, it seems like there's some fish in Camino right now. Um, uh, I guess they're just they're just the locals. Uh, don't mind them. It's uh, you know, it's uh, so uh, it's just a pure water water sphere. As well. Yeah. And over here is, I think, the coolest name for a planet in the world. Mustafa. <laughs> this planet is Mustafar, even. This planet is made of basalt, and it is one of the most secure planets in all of the Star Wars galaxy. And last but not least... The one that we have over here that our builder Maya is standing on is Croissant. Or wait a <laughs> second. Cor Corosant. Cor I'm just going to call it Croissant. This planet is the last of the Star Wars universe. I, I think they ran out of names, to be honest, but that's not my department. Um... Yeah, that's uh, that's that's some of the many many planets that we have in the Star Wars galaxy, and you know I'm sure that there are more waiting to be explored by you. So you know, yeah, that's... wonderful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was gonna yeah. say, so what are the 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 blocks that we're looking at? Is well, there... this block. This block that you're looking at is gray concrete for the last planet. Yeah, it's a concrete planet. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to be doing the build challenges now. Okay. Um, this, we're going to build right on the scenery this time, uh, unlike the previous builds oh. where we had... Oh, David Jr., are you ready? Uh, yeah, I set it up somewhere else. It's ready now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll teleport everyone here, and we can start. So here we are at the uh, build arena here. Uh, this is the same place we built last time. After the build challenge today, we'll move your builds to the Star Wars area and add it to the world. So I believe we're doing our build challenge on Star Wars things today. Oh, you... All right, big reveal, huge surprise, wow. <laughs> uh, right. Kelly, how much time do you think they should have? Mm, good question. Um, we want to save enough time to be able to uh, visit with each builder. Um, what kind of time frame do you think is reasonable for you guys? Is 10 minutes too much? Is 5 minutes too little? Like what? What have we done before? How about we meet in the middle and do seven minutes. But since it's Star Wars, so maybe like fifteen. I think fifteen would be good. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll give you ten minutes, and we'll see how we're going. And if then you can have the bonus five minutes if needed. Sound good? Okay, so yeah, ten minutes. Work. You said 10 minutes? Right. Yep. Okay. Um, David Jr., is everyone ready to start building? Um. Everybody needs to get on a square, like to claim their spot, if they're going to be building. Yep, so, yep, so everyone go uh, find a square where you will build. Yes, and uh, no building into other people's squares either, please. Yes. We'll just have to... 
yeah, let's be respectful of each other's building space. If you want to do a team build, you need to make sure you're, the person you're building with is okay with that. So is this ready? Whenever you guys are ready. I'll start the clock on my side. Okay. Also be all right. So should we tell people go? Yes. No. Once Sean gets One his second. clock ready. Okay. So ten minutes. Is everyone ready? Ready. Okay. And uh, start building. Go go go! Hurry! Nobody's going. <laughs> all right. All right, some people are moving now. So my clock says eight eighteen. So you guys have, we'll we'll reexamine the situation at eight twenty eight to see if you need a little bit more time. And again, the challenge is to build something Star Wars. Yes. Okay. David, would you like to talk about the bills for a moment? Uh, yes, sure, I will talk about the builds, yeah, yeah, um, let me just, uh, go to you, okay. Looks like some people are working so, together here. So, Ring of Ruby and Big Star Wars fan appear to be working on two small black towers, I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what they're doing for that. Moist Carrot is just kind of staring off into whiteness, um, or I guess deciding what he's going to build, it's okay, slow and steady wins the race. Over here, Galaxy Egg has built a uh, a line made out of terracotta. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, you know, we'll be excited to see how these builds develop over the time. Horizon is seeming to build a small rocket ship to start off. That's that's very promising. Good job. Good job. Do, would would uh, would you like to say anything about this? You know, or. Uh... Or would you rather keep it a secret, or, uh, you know, any plan? Um, I'm good for now. Just working on something. I can easily tell you it is not a rocket ship. It should be more identifiable later. Okay, well, that's what a mysterious build. I love it. Okay. Over here, we have Brownie Buddy 123 who, holy cow, you built this all already? Wow, okay, it seems to be kind of like a railroad track so far, that's really nice. Sergio, would you like to talk about your build? If not, that's alright. They might be, uh, they might be texting it or something, so, okay, we'll come back to you later. So, if you follow me over here... JFD Rock, Dr. Phil, seems to be building, well... It seems to be building a pair of legs. I think I know what it might be, but we'll see what happens until afterwards. Do you have any comments, Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil, are you building an Ewok? An Ewok? I am building nothing. nothing. Uh, he ah. is building nothing, guys. That's, uh... Alright. You're going about now it in you... a strange way. David now, if you Jr. come over here, David Jr. is building a circle. Uh, David Jr., do you like circles? David Jr., the circle isn't very no, even. No, I hate circles with a burning passion. Oh. Okay, well, well, we'll come back to you later. We'll come back to you later. Uh, Tater Tot seems to be building another layer out of the same building material as a platform. That's that's quite interesting, but maybe... Okay, we'll, uh, we'll come back to you later. And I believe, so far, that's all of what the builders are building, and we'll check back in a few minutes. Yep, so let's just watch for now. Everybody seems to be doing their very best, and I'm excited to see what creativity shines through this time. Oh, it looks like Holt has begun building. Ah, oh, this is very interesting. It looks a lot like Yoda. And it's okay if you don't know Star Wars Ring of Ruby, just... If you don't know what Star Wars is, just, you know, build what comes to mind, it's okay. Just as long as it's something for age appropriate. I was going to say, build uh, some something space-like. Sure. Ooh, David Jr. Ooh. 
Okay, and, you know, for a few minutes, uh, everybody seems to be going forth, you know, going forward with their building plans. It's it's real neat how everybody thinks of way different things, you know, way different directions to build it. And um, David, um, very nice. while, yeah. the, while the builders <clears throat> are building, do you want to mm -hmm. um, just talk about the club, um, what you guys have on the like on the plans for the next coming months that we should be looking yeah. towards? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So this is the 4-H Mars County, well, Mars County 4-H Minecraft Club. It's a bit of a long name for a club, but here we are. Um, we originally just started with doing the fair and we were a step club at the time and we didn't think that we would do more, but here we are, we're a full on club and we're doing a lot more. Our next build is actually going to be, well, it was delayed a little bit, and this one was put into place, but it is the Grand Mars Tour. So we're really excited about that, and we're looking forward to seeing how it turns out. But so um, that, without, that'll be later. Without giving away any um, surprises, what are some things that people could look forward to with the Mars build? Well, if I may interrupt... Uh, uh -huh. One of my favorite parts of the build so far is all the various rockets that we've built. Ooh, okay. David, Are what's they... your favorite part? Uh, well, I'm not going to give too much away. I, I think you might have given a, given away a little bit with the rockets thing, you know, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but think more futuristic and you know i'll just let your uh i'll let your creation well i'll let your imagination guide you on you know what futuristic would be in okay. mars but yeah you'll, you'll see i'm i'm really happy with how it's turning out so far cool i'm excited <laughs> about it looks like david so, jr may be building a moon ooh. that's no moon so kelly may i ask so far what was your favorite thing that we've done with the club with the club or with tonight's uh, presentation? Well, both, I guess. Whatever oh, you want. <laughs> oh. I didn't realize you were going to put me on the spot like that. Of course <laughs> I would. Who do you think I am? <laughs> I, will, I will say that doing the fair was pretty awesome i th you know what i'm mm -hmm. gonna there's a lot of really cool stuff you guys have done there's a lot of moments that have made me laugh and um just have made me smile and i i love coming in here and um spending time with seeing what your creativity has produced <laughs> since the mm -hmm. last time but i still think about the first time like i am so beyond a novice in minecraft i've never played so the first time that i came in and saw what you guys had created for the fair it just honestly was like took my breath away i was so excited about it so that's I, that's i'm right there with you yeah that's uh <laughs> that's my favorite as well <laughs> when you guys um first said that you want you were going to recreate the fair in minecraft i had an idea of what that could look like but i had no idea how incredibly detailed um and like all the things that you put in there that were like things that i didn't in the real fair i'm like no one notices these little details these little and you guys put them in there it was mm -hmm. for me it was very special of course yeah i'm uh, i'm real proud of you know what the builders have done and how and you things do that are for turning every out build. because every yeah. single build you you put a level of detail in that um just is mind blowing to me yeah, I'm. I'm going to be honest. For me personally, I'm. I'm not very. Uh, I'm not a very creative builder. So a lot of these builds that have happened, it wasn't done by me. It was done by a lot of the club builds. I kind of just uh, manage everything. But I look at everything that's been done, and I, <laughs> I just have to really thank the builders on their creativity and how much you know they've shown through and, you know, positively impacted you know all of us because mm -hmm. without you know, let's say without the fair, everybody would have been, you know, pretty devastated, but we made something work and the builders yeah. built it and it's just, it's, it's incredible. So, Absolutely. and even with this, you know, even with these little, like little secret side builds, like these are, th these aren't really main things. They're just side builds. And yet, you know, the builders made it so pretty and so detailed and like, it's very nice. I'm but, glad you said that. Cause like, for me, I forgot, I, 
after tonight's performance, basically, I had forgotten that these were all side projects. Mm-hmm. That this wasn't like, okay, everybody, we're going to sit down and work on the science museum. It just happened. Yeah, this is this is kind of just like you know after after the main events of let's say the fair or the 4-H camp or something you know like this is just us goofing around and making things you know so it's just yeah <laughs> their creativity even when they don't have a goal is very nice. Yes. Uh, okay, so our time is just about up. Uh, I think we need a few oh. more minutes. I was gonna say the same thing. Um, let's let's go another five minutes. But then that'll be that'll be it. So, you know, builders, make sure you're putting the final touches on. Okay, yes, five indeed. minutes remaining. Everybody seems to be doing a fantastic job with their builds. If they can just finish it up real quick, it'll be perfect. Maybe right now we could uh, ask questions. Does anybody watching or playing have any questions they'd like to ask? Good point. I'm looking at the um, chat in the feed, in the uh, live stream, and just you guys are getting lots of comments of just compliments of these build projects you guys have been doing. Glad to hear. That's, that's um, actually happy. I'm trying to think of... Um, I don't... I was coming up with a question, and I started talking, and then my brain shut down. <laughs> it happens to me too, don't worry. <laughs> I'm kind of just winging a lot of this, so, you know. <laughs> so here's here's a question for you guys. How often, typically, do you, I know that you do more build sessions in preparation for live events, but typically, how often do you guys get together to build? Well, uh, usually it's once a week, once or twice a week, yeah. That's, okay. that's how we do it. Mm-hmm. I would say then you guys are probably the most... Um, the the club that meets the uh most often unfortunately that's a bit sad sad to say but yeah that's that seems mm-hmm. about right <laughs> okay so yeah. we have a question in the chat from mrs doherty uh she asks are the forces balanced and yes they are perfectly balanced as all things should be <laughs> well i don't know about that but <laughs> <laughs> We have three minutes left to build. All right, guys. I'll uh, I'll go and review each one of your builds individually after those three minutes are up. But from what I can see, you guys are doing awesomely. So keep at it and add the perfect finishing touches. And I do know you want, got this. Do we want people to put a sign in in front of their projects, like giving um, them a title? Think. Can if they want to, uh, if they don't want to give it a title, I would just request everybody to just kind of like stand at their own builds, and we'll be when we'll distinguish who it's from. So perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys are doing excellent. So yeah, when I first started this club, I had I had no idea that it would go this far. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, and yeah. I, I'm going to just do a shout of like, you know, David, you um, came forward with this idea to build the fair um, mm-hmm. in Minecraft, presented it to the office. And yeah, we had no idea that here we would be a year later. Um, <laughs> yeah. Build challenges. It's This has been great. And so to all everybody who's building and watching and all the members if you have any kind of idea that you think um you know has some viability to add value to our 4-h community you know reach out let us know because you never know <laughs> i'm sorry i'm looking at these little heads on uh, the yes that's yeah. a little concerning so, but y- you know you never know which ideas are going to take off um so yeah I, I I think we should add the cake room to the awards banquet. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, the other yeah, thing yeah. I want to um, shout out, it's not just you guys started up the Minecraft club and did all these builds, but um, Sean, you know, you've been making the YouTube channel and the videos, um, which has been another way for the club to share some these creations. So thank you for doing that. And, and to our builders for showcasing your amazing talents with building 
All right. I don't know where we are with our time. Are we at one We have 45 left? seconds left. 45 oh, okay. seconds, guys. Finish it up. Finish it up. Uh, it looks like <laughs> Dr. Phil abandoned his first project and started making something new. Okay, well, whatever works. Well, as you guys are finalizing your creations, let's, uh... 20 let's seconds. Get ready. Let's get ready to go look at them. So... Who will we start with? Um, Sean, where are you at right now? I am at... Holt. Holt. Okay. Do you okay, want to start with this... Okay, seven seconds. This, this Five, uh, big... Four, three, two, one. Stop building. Alright, everybody. Stop building, stop building. Galaxy Egg, please stop building. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so, Sean, uh, would you like to start with this one right over here? Okay, um, who built this? Okay, so it seems that this was a collaboration between Big Star Wars fan and one other builder, I believe. Uh, Big Star Wars fan, was there another builder helping you with this? If there was another builder for this build, please, uh, please go on top of it, otherwise, um... You know. Okay. And what is what is it we're looking at? Yeah. It's like a very scary looking droid in my in my imagination. Mm-hmm. Like dark. Have they said anything in the chat? No, not yet. Well, I guess it'll be left to our imagination to find out what this thing is, but that's cool. I, I think, like it. I think it's facing the other way. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, we're, we're looking mm -hmm. at it from here. Okay, nice. uh, we'll have to move on to Douglas now. Douglas, what is this? Uh, yeah, if you couldn't guess, this is my poor recreation of R2-D2. I think it's fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't get the dome exactly that right. Well, to be fair, you had a very short time frame to yeah. work with. It, this was pretty great. Nice. I love it. Over here, we seem to have Galaxy Egg's creation. So, Galaxy Egg, do you just real quickly want to say what this is, or um... <clears throat> if not, no problem. It seems to be Yoda, from what I can see, but that's a real big-headed Yoda. <laughs> yeah, because it's a very specific Yoda. Baby is it Yoda. baby Yoda? <gasps> well, nice. so then technically, it's not baby Yoda. It's Grogu, Gar, Grogu. Yes. Grogu. Except. The Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Nice. <laughs> it looks like Yoda and Holt's creation are facing off here. Holt, <laughs> what is your creation? Nice. <laughs> My creation, funny enough, is Baby Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> nice. So it's Baby Jabba versus Baby Yoda. It's yeah. amazing it that. Baby Jabba starts off so tiny if that's Baby Yoda. Of, of course, yeah. They grow up so It looks fast. like Slimer from Ghostbusters. <laughs> it, <does. laughs> it, 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 really, it really looks like Shrubbish or Garbodor if you've ever played the Pokemon games, but that's... that's it does true. not look like Garbodor. It doesn't look it, like Shrubbish, Shrubbish, Shrubbish. <laughs> um... Over here, we seem to have a sign, a deleted scene, head museum. Uh oh. Where are we going? And whose build is this? Uh, this build over here. It seems to be. Oh, it's Brownie, Brownie Buddies. Buddies. Hi, Brownie Buddies. Brownie Buddy, oh. do you have anything to say about this? Uh, what I didn't is do this? Star Wars because I only like the first movie. Okay, that's fair. So they didn't do Star Wars because they only liked the first movie. So they did kind of like a like a head museum and uh, and other details. That's pretty cool. I think it's a, a an excellent build. Um, yeah, very unique. Like a lot of great details in again a very short amount of time. Mice carrot, a camera, Horizon, old David, <laughs> old David, <laughs> Heather, happy feet, a nurse, brownie buddy. Sean, my mom, a chicken, <laughs> and Stratton. That's awesome. Nice. See, you know, Very cool. The way it's set up on the black and white, I thought it was a chessboard. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Phil, are you here? 
Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Dr. Phil. Uh, what have you created here? Uh, my temp- my portable, uh, temple. Uh, are we ignoring the thing on the other side? Uh, yeah, th th this thing, yes. It, it was gonna take too long. <laughs> okay. This is very nice. Oh, thank you. And it hovers? It does. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it can go up in the air. It, it, it's, it's like a ship. Cool. Is that, oh, and you've got your throne? Yeah, it turns into a control panel when I when it goes off. Nice. Fabulous. Thank you. Okay, and up Does this here... little ramp thing go up like a door? Yes. So, David Jr., it looks like you've built a moon here, correct? Uh, no, Wait, this is that's no not moon. a moon. This is actually the Death uh -oh. Star. The demonetized it's star. The game end star, David Jr. <laughs> yes. Who's standing on top of the no, it... the planet that's getting blown up? Is that Yoda? Oh, th this is Shrek because. Oh. No. Great. <laughs> oh, who of took course. a shirt off? I can imagine <laughs> that uh, Darth Zano has a big problem with Shrek. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's, <laughs> he's getting blowing you know, up the swamp. Yes, the swamp planet. <laughs> Over here, we have Brownie Buddies built. Um, let's see. Sort of a star. The other sign is a spoiler. <gasps> okay. Well, this is this is apparently sort of a star, but it also looks like a volcano. So that's that's pretty awesome. Oh, that isn't mine. Oh, okay. Then uh, then who's who's built is this? Does anybody wanna? I think this is Tater Tots. Oh, okay. Oh, me Sam is yours. Right. Tater Tot, is this your build over here? Oh, Tater Tot joined. Well, regardless, it looks like a very, very nice build. It's a, uh... Oh, yeah, there it is. It is Tater Tot. Nice. Is it a volcano kind of thing? The book one could buy. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, very cool, guys. Very creative. So I think that's... Pyramid at first, and then all the the lava and flames and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they said it's there half of a star. Oh. Ooh. I think it's great. All of Very colorful are star. Hard to pick a favorite. You said all we're gonna move these into the Star Wars portion of the world. Yes. That's awesome. So, is Rainbow Flower Girl still here? Seems like they left. She's an AFK. Oh, okay. Um, I think that's about the end of our uh, tour. We should head back to the. Star Wars area by the MC Pro Wrestling sign, and we can close this out. Good job, everyone. Yay. <laughs> Are you sending people one? Whoa, we suddenly got inside Dr. Phil's head. <laughs> okay, so. Here we are, back at the Star Wars area. Mm -hmm. Beautiful sign. Oh! So pretty! So, uh... Oh, fast. Any last questions or comments? From... from the... From audience. anyone. From anyone. Okay. Um... We'll see if any comments jump in, but I'll just um, say on behalf of everyone, wow, um, you guys really are creative, talented, and I thank you so much for sharing your projects and just and your fun with us. Um, another, and I also want to thank your club leaders um, for supporting you. You know, meeting two times a week for 
That's a lot. Um, and I know you guys have an awesome team of adults who are supporting you and because of their support, it allows you to be the successful with your building. So thank you so much. Um, and of course, thanks to MC Pro Hosting for giving you guys the server space to make all of this possible. Um, in case you guys didn't see that you're getting some um, comments of just how creative and love your skits and uh, I that was something else I wanted to mention. I, whether you guys um, know it or not, this has been basically your version of a public presentation, and um, we've been watching you do some improv. So uh, we do have a theater club that recently got started. I'm just saying, in case anybody wants to explore those talents a little further. Um, do you guys have anything you want to say? Otherwise, I'm going to plug. Uh, some upcoming events. Uh, you... No, but thank you everybody for attending and you know helping build this. It was a great experience. Should, we should take a uh, we should take a group photo here on yes. the X wing. Yes. Can now all the builders please gather on the X wing for a photo? And while you guys are doing that, um, we'll just remind everybody that we have a lot of events coming up. Um, if you go to the Morris County 4-H website, you can see what we have on the calendar thus far. The big thing that we're working on is making a month-long celebration in summer. We're going to do all of July, just various events and activities. Different clubs are going to be hosting activities. Um, some things we know for sure are happening are geocaching, quiz bowls, um, I am currently working on a with a group that's going to host bat walks. Um, so if you guys are interested in learning about bats and listening to them while they're out hunting, um, can't think of what else. we have so many things. In, oh, I know that we're talking about doing some weekly photo and art challenges. So stay tuned because more ideas come in just about every day. Okay, is everybody assembled for a group picture? Yeah, I'm here. Yep, we've taken a few. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I did a couple as well. Okay. Make sure you send the some photos to the office so we can um, put it in our Discoveries events report. Yeah, as soon as I figure out where the Minecraft screenshots go, I'll post them <laughs> in the pictures and videos. Oh, man. Hey, Joe. Nope. All right. I'm trying to think if there was anything. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Here I am talking about all the events happening in July, and I forgot to mention some the ones that you guys are hosting. Um, like we said earlier, you're doing the Mars uh, Minecraft Mars version, um, and we got some like teasers on what we could possibly expect. I know that there's been some discussion about possibly hosting a fireworks show in Minecraft. And I'm not 100% sure when you guys want to do that, but we can talk offline about dates. Maybe it'll be for the 4th of July weekend. Maybe it'll be part of opening ceremonies or closing ceremonies, but definitely we should have some fireworks. It's not summer without fireworks. Um, so that's what you guys are planning for the summer to share um do you have other project ideas that you're going to start building in the near future or are you looking to take requests at this point well i can always use uh, more ideas and i kind of hit a rut in terms of inspiration so any ideas uh -huh. are welcome all right but we're probably going to be working on the summer thing along mm -hmm. uh, as well with side build whenever we feel like them. Perfect. Now, if anybody was watching tonight that is not, who's not currently in the club or like, you know, has been connected with you guys, but now they want to get involved, how how can they do that? Like what what do you do to join a club like this? Mrs. Sorry, this is like Mrs. Longendike, would you like to talk about that? <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Gonna make well, <laughs> well, uh, we have an email where you can contact us. Uh, the email is in the bottom right of the live stream right now, so you can email us there with inquiries or if you want to join the club. And is um, what ages or grade levels typically? Uh, I don't think we really have a limit, but uh, you know our age group here is kind of like. Yeah, we have people in all ages, really. Yeah. So, um, just as in case, uh, just for what 4-H in general is kindergarten through one year out of high school. Um, but your club specifically doesn't like restrict the grade level. So if anybody's interested, just contact the office or contact the club directly with the email, and uh, we'll we'll get you all hooked up, so to speak. Maybe send the email in chat. It's in the live stream. Yeah, but like put it in the YouTube chat. So they can just copy and paste it. Okay. I'm gonna start thinking about some of... Um, actually, Douglas, you mentioned... Um, wow, why are we here? Having some infer inspiration for I build. don't know. Yeah, I occasionally get hit with an idea for a project that I feel like I have to do. That's where I decided to build a mini golf course because one time mm -hmm. so I was like, this is what the server needs, a mini golf course. And so I so built it. I know some of my colleagues across the across New Jersey have um, started pitching some ideas of would our would the Minecraft club want to build this or that. Um, I'll go back through and see what kind of ideas they had and not that it's um a, you know you're not required at all to build it, but if there's something that perks your interest. Um, awesome. So I guess we should wrap this up here. I guess. <laughs> yeah, we have technically ten minutes. Well, yeah, ten minutes technically. Um, if there's any last minute questions or comments, but um, other one, you guys did a fantastic job tonight. There's, this has only been like really a sampling of some of your builds. I know there's more out there. Yeah, maybe we can do another one of these once a couple months pass by and we built a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Always more. <laughs> we should definitely try to um, do more Star Wars stuff. <laughs> you guys really like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. If okay, I so. We're spoiling on something, but we're working on a little something for Star Wars mm -hmm. in addition to what we have. So look, at, look in the upcoming weeks. Okay, so anything else? I got nothing on my end. So I guess we should uh, close this off. All right. Well, th thank you, everybody, for joining. And uh, hope to see you again very soon. And see you in July. Yes, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you all. It was a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. I know it was a bit late, but I hope you enjoyed it. Absolutely. <laughs> Fabulous tour and beautiful creations. Well done, everybody. All right, with that, we'll stop our live feed. Yep, the live stream is over.